Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son through the name of the Holy Spirit. That's called Halayim, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Raka, Kodash. Peace and blessings unto the nation of Israel. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Raka, Kodash. Baraka, to all you listeners who may tune into this. And this is the brother Yitzhak Zakaq. I'm going to catch you with another lesson. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. All praises are under due. And I want to entitle this lesson Antics and Semantics versus Preaching and Teaching. Because it's a it's a very big difference between um, preaching and teaching and antics and semantics. You know, we have to understand that antics and semantics really don't have no part in preaching and teaching. You know, that that, 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 that does not have no part in that. Yeah, but my side didn't call us to be no damn comedians or he didn't call us to be no uh, entertainers. You know what I'm saying? He called us to uh, push out his word. Uh, you know, he called us to, uh, you know, uh, for, for the ministry of reconciliation, he called us for reconciliation. He called us for exhortation, admonishment, charity, you know, love of the brethren and, and our neighbors. You know, this is what we've been called to do. We've been called to walk into the spirit of our Lord. You have a shot my shocking Lord willing to be sanctified um, um, unto salvation. You know, this is what we've been called to do. You know, we haven't been called to, 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 to make jokes and, um, and entertainment and you know what I'm saying uh make some kind of big ass trend or fad you know this is not what the faith of Yahweh Shem Yahweh is about that's not what this ministry is about that's not what preaching and teaching is about so um you know it just caught my attention because I know a lot of Jakes I mean I've been meaning to do this lesson for a while because I know a lot of Jakes they uh um, they are uh easily captivated and allured and allured by uh Antics and and, 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 uh, and semantics, you know. So I'm gonna get what antics and semantics is, you know what I'm saying. And uh, I'm gonna get what preaching and teaching is. And uh, Lord willing, this edifying. I got some preach. Um, also, so antics. This is what antics is. Antics goes into foolish, outrageous, or amusing behavior. So basically, being foolish, outrageous, you know, being amusing, you know what I'm saying. Uh, basically, what goes into uh, Stunts, tricks, amusing, amusing behavior, horseplay, frolic, silliness, buffoonery, clowning, pranks, amusing behavior. Which this is what a lot of uh, you know Jake's love. You know those who are thinking of subscribing to the faith and those who are who actually subscribe to the faith, so to speak. They um, love uh, they love stunts, they love tricks, they love silliness. You know they love uh, horseplay. They love uh, they love foolery. You know what I'm saying? This is just simplicity. You know this is the type of stuff that Jake loves. Loves like he, he loves to hear a little fun and and foolery and buffoonery, and he he, he loves to mix a little bit of that and into that into what he got going on. But when when it comes to the ministry, yeah, how about some outside? Antics and semantics ain't got nothing to do with it. Um. Let me see. Before I get there, I want to see the definition. Semantics would be the branch of the li 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 linguistics and logic concerned with meaning. There are a number of branches of sub branches of and sub branches of semantics, including formal semantics, which studies the logical aspects of meanings such as sense, reference, implication, and logical form. Lexical semantics, which studies word meanings and word relations, and conceptual semantics, which studies the cognitive structure of the meaning. Um, semantics goes into basically is the study of meaning, reference, or truth. The term the term can be used to refer to subfields of several distinct disciplines, including philosophy linguistics and computer science so semant semantics is basically uh is, is is the different uh logical aspects and meanings and senses and references and implications of of, of, of basically uh the word and scripture you know what i'm saying which this is this is a heavy thing within israel that you know and, and concerning this faith you know where you know it's a it's a lot of things that are semantical like you can pull a scripture out and then you have uh, like 10, 15, 20 different interpretations of it. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, uh, 
it's it's it's, it's uh it might have certain words that mean multiple different things so you know you you got people who want to swing these words into other things to make it fit for how they want to fit like that's what antis and semantics is based about antis and semantics is basically ba uh basically making things fitting make making the ministry of yahweh bashim al fitting and suitable for how you want it you know what i'm saying which is going the hell off you know what i'm saying which is this this is what a lot of people do it's what a lot of brothers and sisters whom subscribe to this faith and also whom are thinking of subscribe to this faith this is what captivates them antis and semantics which you know this has nothing to do with yahweh bashim al when you want to bring this uh when you want to bring this Within your under uh, within your how about Shemuel Shai's banner under your how about Shemuel Shai's banner, this is when issues arise. You know, this is when issues arise. Um, preaching, preaching is the delivery of a sermon or religious address to an assembled group of pe people, typically a a church. You know what I'm saying? So this is all this this is is preaching is the delivery of a sermon. You know what I'm saying? Now, how you're delivering the servant sermon, this is when it becomes a problem. When you want to be uh, foolish, amusing, have foolish and amusing uh, behavior with that. When you want to be uh, semantical about every word and everything that you're saying, you know, or, or the uh, divine interpretation of the Heavenly Father's uh, uh, word, you know, what was meant to be put out and conveyed by the Heavenly Father's word. You want to be semantical with it, you know, and, you know, uh, Break down every kind of context, aspect, and uh, piece of every word in scripture. It's going to hell off, man. You know, you can't you can't make things fitting. You can't make things fitting for you. We just start to deliver the sermon. We're not supposed to deliver it with all. Uh, it, it, we, we ain't supposed to deliver it with semantics and antics. We just supposed to deliver it, man. You know, the message is already the message is already here. The the message is is already enough. You know, it shouldn't be no more that we have to do to express the message. You know, it shouldn't be no more that we have to do as as far as antics and semantics is concerned to be able to um, uh, make the Heavenly Father's word pop. If you feel like you got to use antics and semantics for the Heavenly Father's words to uh, actually uh, for his power to be known, then, you know, you, you got to you, then you got to start to question your faith. You know, then you got to start to question your faith and then you got to question, start to question your intentions. You know, uh, teaching goes into show or explain to someone how to do something. So this is what preaching and teaching is. Develop, uh, delivering sermons unto a group of people and showing or explaining how to do uh, to someone how to do something, man. Or giving information or instruction in a subject or a skill, which they don't have nothing to do with antics and semantics. <laughs> they don't have it's, it's, it will tell you that it's only one uh interpretation of scripture it's only one interpretation of scripture so if, when, when scripture is uh is is is, is uh when when, when it's a, a multitude of ways that you know scripture can be broke down or we want to break down the scripture so to speak or you know what i'm saying if it's a multitude of ways that things are being said of how it's supposed to be you know, this is when we have to start questioning stuff. You know, this is when we have to start putting things into question. You know, this is when we have to start putting things into question, man. You know, because the simplicity, the, the simplicity of you have a way you have a shot. Like I said, it's a uh, matter of fact. Let's get there real quick. It said Corinthians eleven in verse 3 it says but i fear this by any means as the serpent beguiled eve through his subtlety so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in hamashiach and that's what happens man you know uh, uh you uh, a lot of a lot of our brothers within his ministry and his faith and a lot of uh you know those who um you know subs uh, or are considering subscribing uh into proper doctrine they get beguiled you know through subtlety you know through subtilities of speeches you know and through uh subtlety of men which comes through uh antics and uh semantics you know thinking that versus preaching and teaching they get allured by the, the, the antics and semantics of things and forget about the uh the actual meaning and purpose of you know scripture word in this ministry you know they get captivated by 
um, they get captivated by, uh, you know, the, 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 the antics and semantics of it, you know? Let's get into some more, some scripts. You know, so we can't be, you know, we can't let the, the antics and semantics, you know, override the preaching and teaching, because the preaching and teaching is what's needful for us, you know what I'm saying, Lord willing to, uh, you know, have our souls delivered, you know what I'm saying? And also, if we are preaching and teaching, you know what I'm saying, we can't, um, we can't, ha we, we have to be doing it in a certain type of manner, or, you know, um, or we, we will be considered uh, heresies or unbelievers. Let's go here. Which a heresy is, is pretty much an unbeliever. This uh, was synonymous with an unbeliever. This is 2 Timothy 4 and 2. It says, preach the word, be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. You know, so this is, this is it. It's simple. Just do this and that's it. You know, it says preach the word, be instant in season and out of season. When it's talking about being instant in season and out of season, it's talking about uh, uh, upholding the spirit of your shy regardless of what the circumstances is. It's not talking about just going out in hot and cold weather. You know what I'm saying? Preach the word, preach the word. So we preach the word, we deliver the word, we deliver the message. We deliver the message that our Lord, Yahweh Shah, my uh left, left with us. You know what I'm saying? We deliver that message, you know. We be instant in season and out of season, which means that we're continu continually uphold the spirit of Yahweh Shah Mashiach uh, on camera, off camera, or regardless of what the circumstances, situations, uh, or the situation may be. You know, it says reprove, rebuke, exhort, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Yes, yeah, so we have to uh, reprove and rebuke. Yes, but uh, we have to do it with, uh, we have to do it by being long suffering and, uh, in, in, in proper doctrine if we're not doing it within proper doctrine and not being long suffering with it then you know that's not proper uh that's that's adding that's that's being semantical that's being semantical on how you got to reprove and rebuke and exhort if you're not doing it with long suffering uh not being long suffering with that and doing it with all doctrine then you're being uh then you're being antical and semantical on how you got to preach the word you know which make make makes you uh Makes you evil, basically. <laughs> basically. You know, here, go. Oh, let's read verse 3. It says, For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. And that's what happens to a lot of people. A lot of people heap themselves teachers having itching ears because they, they get they get allured by the antics and semantics of men, you know, which these antics and semantics that these men are involved in are set up by the devices of Satan to get people captivated and allured by these different actors and semantics and uh, basically not to be followers of the doctrine. You know what I'm saying? Basically not to be followers of the doctrine. Basically be um, to be um, led by these men through their evil works into uh, them uh, uh, being involved with evil works. You know, let's go to 1 Timothy. It's 1 Timothy 4 and verse 13. It says, till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. You know, so this is what we're supposed to be focused on, period. You know, uh, reading, exhortation, and doctrine. You know, we're not supposed to be focused on uh, anything outside of that. You know, give give attendance to, to reading, exhortation, and doctrine. You know what I'm saying? This is, it's simple. This, the, the, what, how about Shema Shah is looking for us as servants, servants and uh, ministers, as ministers and uh, those who are being ministered unto? He's looking for uh, he's looking for simple things such as reading, exhortation, and doctrine, preach the word, rebuke, re uh, reprove, and exhort with all long suffering. You know, being, by being um, by being all long suffering. You know, these are the things that how about Shema Shah is requiring of us. It says, neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery. It says, meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them that thy profiting may appear unto all, appear to all. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine, continue in them. For in doing this, thou shalt both save thy soul and them that hear thee. So this is what... This is what preaching and teaching and, you know, uh, ministering and being ministered unto is all about. You know what I'm saying? Meditating upon uh, reading, exhortation, the doctrine, the gift that's been given unto us by the laying on the hands of the presbytery, which ultimately, uh, you know, goes into our forefathers before us who have led, uh, uh, led the way, you know, led the way through the spirit of our Lord, Yahweh Shalom, how we should be walking. You know what I'm saying? It says meditate upon these things, give 
meditate upon these things, give thyself wholly to them that their profiting may appear unto all. You know, so the the, the our behavior is not supposed to be uh, our our behavior that's uh that's supposed to captivate and alert people's attention is uh walking within holiness of Yahweh Shah, not by adding buffoonery, foolishness, and semantics unto it. You know, that's not uh how uh, our profiting uh is shown appearing unto all by, you know, adding our old man character into uh uh so to speak new newly a new character with Yahweh Shah. We have to be a complete new new creature in Yahweh Shah. It says, take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine, continue in them, and for in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. You know what I'm saying? So this is how, you know, we save those that hear thee and save ourselves. You know what I'm saying? It's by taking heed unto ourselves and to the doctrine, not taking heed unto how we're delivering the doctrine or taking heed to how people are, 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 are taking it in. You know what I'm saying? And what or what they like hearing about it so they can hear it. Because if somebody else want to hear something else outside the word, or if they if they tuning into your if if anything outside of what you're pushing in your videos or if anything outside of what you're listening to in a video allures you or you know this is what you're watching it for or this is what you're pushing it, you're doing the video for then you got a question if you're even doing this for your how about you you're not you're not doing this for your but you're doing this for other reasoning you're doing this to appeal to uh, a certain type of crowd you know you're, you're doing this to uh make somebody laugh and, and or you're doing this to uh you know basically uh put yourself on some type of pedestal you know what i'm saying that's 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 going the hell off or if this is why you're watching it to be entertained in that certain type of manner this you're, you're missing the whole point of what this is even about you know Let's go here. This Titus chapter 2 and verse 6, it says, Young men, likewise, exhort to be sober-minded in all things, showing thyself a pattern of good works in doctrine, showing uncorruptness, gravity, sincerity. Yes, so in, in doctrine, like we were just reading First Timothy the fourth chapter, we got to take heed unto ourselves and unto the doctrine. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we show... Uh, it says uh and in all things showing a, a pattern of good works you know so we have to in all things show a pattern of good works which comes through doctrine by uh by, by showing uh uncorruptness gravity and sincerity you know what i'm saying so basically uh this is a part of uh good works is making sure that we're uh not having any uncorruptness in our action um and any things that are unsincere within our action our word you know our word or our deed you know it says, sound speech that cannot be condemned, that he that is of the contrary part might be ashamed, having no evil thing to speak, say of you. But when you play antics and semantics, when you play antics and semantics, then your speech can't be sound, you know? And then you leave room for people to say something evil of you, which we, we can't let certain things be named amongst us as saints, like we read, like, like it says in Ephesians the fifth chapter. It says, Exhort certain, so like exert, exhort servants to be obedient unto their own masters and to please them well in all things, not answering again, not purloining, but showing all good fidelity that they may adorn the doctrine of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, our Savior in all things. You know, uh, not purloining, which purloining basically goes into taking away. You know what I'm saying? So basically, <clears throat> you're adding and taking away things. For your own personal gain, whether it be whatever kind of lucre it is, filthy lucre could be any kind of base gain, you know what I'm saying, which can be any kind of um, admiration or adoration in any kind of form or, 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 or possession or material. It says, verse 11, for the grace of Yahweh Shah that bring of salvation have appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great power, Yahweh Shah and our Savior, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous of of good works these things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority let no man despise thee you know so this is what uh these these are the keys to teaching and preaching 
as a servant of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua. This is the uh, these are the keys when you're listening to uh, I mean, when when you're uh, adhering unto preaching and teaching as well. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to uh, make sure in doctrine there's no uncorruptness, gravity, and complete sincerity of sound speech within it. You know what I'm saying? Which means that there's not no semantics or antics within it. You know. Uh, no, not prolonging, you know what I'm saying, which means nothing's being added or taken away, basically. You know, uh, yeah, uh, that uh, all ungodliness has to be denied, you know, all worldly lusts have to be denied. We have to be, uh, uh, thinking soberly and vigilantly, you know what I'm saying, within, uh, what's being teached and preached, and what we're hearing was preached and teached, you know. And we have to be uh, zealous of all good works, you know what I'm saying? These are the things that we're supposed to speak and uh, exhort with and rebuke. You know, call out your bitch my shot. So, this, this, it says, let no man despise these. So, if, if, if someone despises these, <laughs> the, like living soberly, righteously, and godly, you know what I'm saying? Uh, not prolonging uh, sound speech, uncorruptness, gravity, and sincerity. You know, if this, this is something that men despise you know then uh ultimately it's, it's a good telltale sign that uh they despise you how about some you have a shot because it said he that despise him despise him not man but you have about some you have a shot you know so that's a good that's a good indication that if those things are, are things that he despises you know what i'm saying if, if this is a nature that he despises or is something that he's looking for more then it's probably because your Habashim Hashem ain't enough for him. Let's get this right here. This uh Proverbs 28 and 8. He that by usury and unjust gain increase of his substance, he shall gather it for him that will pity the poor. Yeah, so uh playing semantics really just works in the favor for those who don't, you know, plan 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 some antics and semantics, being 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 into antics and semantics. Uh, really does not uh, It might build your following on this side It might build uh, your, your your admiration of men It might build your acclaim amongst men But ultimately the only thing it's really doing Is setting up those who truly uh, are, are Have no uncorruptness or uh, insincerity within them You know, so when you want to uh, You know, do anti-semantics That's eventually what you're going to be known for You know what I'm saying You're going to be known for anti antical semantical man you know what i'm saying but you know those who uh those 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 who you know are uh in all things showing uncorruptness gravity and sincerity sincere sincerity those who are zealous of good works these are the ones whom really uh are going to be uh established by your how about some your outside those who are not into antics and semantics you know which Jake loved anti semantics. He loved to see somebody get slapped on the line or Edom might get cussed out, you know what I'm saying, so to speak, or so called. Because <laughs> a lot of these times, guys be thinking these guys eat uh, people, Edomites, you don't even know who the hell they is. They love seeing uh, people uh, go down there and kiss people boots. They love to see uh, so called white people go down and kiss boots, you know what I'm saying? They love to see altercations. They love to hear Jake make jokes while he's teaching, you know what I'm saying? Do a little uh, extra. Uh, do a little extra, a uh, little something, you know what I'm saying? This, this, this the stuff that Jake like, you know. This uh, First Corinthians 14 and 26. It says, "How is it then, brethren, when you come together, every one of you have a psalm, have a doctrine, have a tongue, have a revelation, have an interpretation? Let all things be done unto edifying." So, so, so those who play semantics really are not not about the edification of the body. They really about those who play semantics, those who uh, are into antics and semantics. They're really not about uh, uh, edifying the body. They're really about being known as someone who's right, known as someone who's knowledgeable, known as the wise person, known as the people who got it. Uh, they they're really doing this to be seen in a certain type of light. You know what I'm saying? They're not really doing this to edify you and build you up. It's really to be seen in a certain type of light, you know, or uh, for you to have a, uh, to, to admire what, what they're pushing out. But it's really not for the edification of their spirit. You know, let's go here. It's First Peter 1 and 20. It's First Peter 1 and 20. Salakia. 
It's lucky. My fault. I, I can't. I mean, I think it's sick computer one. It's one. Make sure it's sick computer. Get con. So lucky. This sick computer. Uh, one and twenty. It says, knowing this first that no prophecy of the scriptures of any private interpretation, for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but but holy men of Yahweh Shimashah spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. So, coming up with new explanations or strategical definitions is a key indication of false teachers you know what i'm saying it's those who want to come up with new explanations or strategical definitions of, of of what scripture mean or what you know what what uh, word in scripture mean this is a key indication of an evil false teacher you know what i'm saying because uh no scriptures of any private interpretation so if it's a, a, a interpretation outside of uh how uh outside of the uh, spirit of our lord you have a shot my shot this is a key indication that you're anti my shot you're at you're anti my shot ain't no if ands and buts about it you know what i'm saying if you are or if you have a shot you're gonna be doing what you know you have a shot requires of you you're gonna be at least striving for it you know what i'm saying you're not gonna be against it <laughs> you're not gonna be adverse to it you know, that's a telltale sign. Like, oh, no, this is a false teacher. Or this is an anti mashiach Someone who doesn't want to, uh, uh, he, he don't, he, what doing what Yahweh Shai told him to do is not enough for him. He got to, he got to spend it and add some more to it. Go right here. This, uh, Acts chapter 8, verse 9 says, But there was a certain man called Simon, which before time in the same city used sorcery and bewitched the people of Samaria, giving out that himself was some great one. To whom they all gave heed from the least to the greatest, saying, This man is the great is is the great power of Yahweh Shai. And to him they had regard because that of long time he bewitched them with sorceries. It says, But when they believed Philip preaching the things concerning the kingdom of Yahweh Shimashah in the name of Yahweh Shah Mashah, they were baptized both men and women. Then Simon himself believed also, and when he was baptized, he continued with Philip and wondered, and wondered, beholding the miracles and signs which were done. It says, Now when the apostles which were at Jerusalem had heard that Samaria had received the word of Yahweh Shemashah, they sent unto them Peter and John, who when they were come down, prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Spirit. For as yet he was fallen upon none of them only they were baptized in the name of the lord yahweh Shai. then laid they their hands on them and they received the holy spirit and when simon saw that through laying on the laying on of the apostles hand the holy spirit was given he offered them money saying give me also this power that on whomsoever i lay hands he may receive the holy spirit but Peter said unto him, Thy money perish with thee, because thou hast thought that the gift of Yahweh Shemashah may be purchased with money. You know, so we see right here uh, a, a separation between uh, a false teacher and a, and, a, and, a, and a false servant versus a real servant and a, a, a real teacher. You see, uh, real quick, them sorceries was it was in no comparison to. Uh, you know what uh, apostle uh peter uh apostle peter and uh and uh i believe who, who was was it apostle peter and uh was it john and the serpent and philip yeah it's like you philip and apostle peter you know you know these 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 uh these men was the was 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 shown to be the real teachers and um uh, and, and, and preachers, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, the, the preaching and the teaching over overrode the anti-semantics all day. He was doing great sorceries and, and, and uh, you know, bewitching the people. Like the people was being highly moved and highly uh, entertained by the sorcery of Simon. But that preaching and teaching of Apostle Peter uh, uh, was was completely was was not even in, to be compared. To, uh, the uh, the sorcery of, uh, of Simon, you know, so uh, the true preaching and teaching is going to always prevail. It's going to always prevail. <laughs> the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha is going to always prevail. And the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha is not with all that, all that uh, extra, all that extra stuff that these guys be on.
you know, or these or these or these people love. Yeah, I my son not dealing with that, man. You think yeah, I busted my son dealing with that? You're already, you're out of your mind. This, this Ephesians four and fourteen it says that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie and wait to deceive. It says so we're so we're not supposed to be into antics and foolery anymore as part of being Yahweh Shah. Uh, it's, it's being a part of the body of Yahweh Shah. Like once we truly become a part of the body of Yahweh Shah, we're supposed to be unmovable and steadfast and, and rooted within uh the words of our and the sayings of our Lord Yahweh Shah. My shah, that's what we're supposed to be rooted in. When some people start to come with sayings and words outside of what our Lord Yahweh Shah, my shah is delivered unto us, you know, we're we we we're, we're not supposed to adhere unto that, you know, and it comes through, you know, every way in the doctrine, cunning craftiness, the slight of men, which basically goes into the antics and semantics that these men play, you know. If you're if you're if you're being moved by this, if you're if, you're, if, if this stuff is catch, capturing you, alluring you, if this is what, you know, you like, you know, what I'm saying you got to really start to question like, oh, am I a part of the body? You have a shot, you know, am I anti my shot? It's Romans 16 and 17 says, Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause defenses, divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which they have learned, and avoid them. For they are such serve, for they that are such serve, not our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashah, but their own belly, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. You know, so it's right here warns us of men who just serve their own belly through great nice speech, you know. There's men out here who is doing it. They're, they're serving their own belly through great, uh, nice, great by good words and fair speeches, man. And they're deceiving the hearts of many, man. You know what I'm saying? They're doing this stuff to feed their own belly. That's why people do antics. That's why they're antical and semantical to make themselves feel like there's something that they're not, you know, or to be looked at in a certain type of light, you know? Let's go here to a second. But the scriptures tell us we're supposed to mark them and avoid them. You know, if we see people into... If, if you you see somebody who's supposed to be preaching and teaching and they spending their time preaching and teaching, making jokes about people, calling people out of their names, you know what I'm saying? Uh, making Edomites kiss their feet, slapping them up, bringing guns to camp, you know what I'm saying? Talking about how they got straps, talking about, uh, you know, rapping, dancing, uh, talking about a uh, doctrine that has nothing to do with Yahweh Shah Mashiach, you know, such as uh, fucking how Edomites are dying or, or killing each other or how uh, Edomites are going to die and fucking how people are going to be enslaved and shit. You know what I'm saying? This is this is uh, this 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 one. You got a question like. Okay, they, they, you, you really don't care about Yahweh Shah Mashiach. You really don't care about what Yahweh Shah Mashiach is looking for. Well, you, you care about the other stuff of it. That's what really, really a lot of people are not even in this faith to service Yahweh Shah through spirit. They're in this faith because they're going to get to go put some Edomites and some change, man. You know what I'm saying? That's not the right spirit to be in. <laughs> It's not what Yahweh Shem Mashiach called us into this faith to do, to, 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 to bash on Edomites and heathens, you know what I'm saying, and our own people who who living in wickedness. That's not what he called us in this for, you know. And, and anything that involves that type of stuff is antical and semantical, you know what I'm saying. Yahweh Shem Mashiach is not dealing with it. He's not dealing with it. I'm, 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 I can guarantee that he's not dealing with this shit, you know what I'm saying. I'm willing to put whatever on it, you know. This is 2 Peter 2 and 18. It says, For when they speak great swelling words of vanity, they alert through the lust of the flesh. And that's what they do. They alert through the lust of the flesh. You know what I'm saying? Lust of the flesh, uh, like hatred, variance, sedition, uh, idolatry, witchcraft. You know what I'm saying? Fornication. You know what I'm saying? Malice, clamor, anger, bitterness. You know, all these things stem from uh, the works of the flesh. You know, the lust of the flesh. You know, and this is what allures... And this is what allures people about men's speech when they're preaching and teaching the, the uh, whatever whatever uh, appeals to their flesh, and whatever kind of fleshly nature that these men are spewing, it it it, it, it appeals to the nature of the flesh, and this is this, this is what captivates men. You know, it's, it's all about flesh. All conflict, all flesh can soar from to its light. You know, it says, for when they speak great swelling words of vanity, they alert through the lust of the flesh, through much wine time, as those that were clean escape from them who live in error. Yeah, that's what they do. They alert through the lust of the flesh, through much wine time, as, you know what I'm saying? Through much wine time, as, there, there are men who speak, who speak great alluring words, you know? 
which captivate others. You know what I'm saying? And it and it, it uh it says those who were clean escaped from from them who live in error. You know what I'm saying? So you was clean escape, but now you done been brought back to them who live in error through antics and semantics. That's why uh we aren't supposed to let antics and semantics uh be appealing unto us because they can captivate us into the wrong, they can appeal to the lust of our flesh, and we know that the flesh uh uh is synonymous with sin and death, which we're supposed to be uh uh saved from that. Let's go to Proverbs. It's Proverbs 19 and verse 3. It says the foolishness of man perverted his way and his heart fret up against the Lord. So the answers and semantics of men, this is what perverts them, man. You know what I'm saying? All the extra semantics and, and antics of things. This is what actually perverts and makes men pro, uh, profane. And this is what uh, makes their mind actually be adverse into the, the mind of Yahweh Bashim Masha. So this is why this is important that we don't be involved in these type of things. Because this is what separates you from the Lord. It's really because it's pride. It's all it is. When you want to do something extra outside of what Yahweh Shemashah is requiring you to do, or you want to add more to what Yahweh Shemashah already has presented unto you, that means you, you you have a sense of pride on you because you feel like your way is right, or you know what I'm saying your your, your what, what you what you want to add into it is needful, you know. Here we go. Read this First Corinthians three and nineteen. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with Yahweh Shai. For it is written, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. You know, so the wise are taken in their own craftiness. Answers and semantics leads to destruction. Dest destruction. You know, so you could be all wise, know a whole bunch of stuff. You know, what I'm saying you out there spinning around, uh, cutting people from. Uh, slicing their arms off with scriptures and stuff, slicing their leg off, loud mouth Eve gets cut up, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, wicked Jake who wants to smoke cigarettes uh, gets smoked by the word, you know what I'm saying? Well, uh, all, all that extra anti semantics that you got to do uh, to, 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 to be able to deliver a message or something, this is what you're going to be taking in. This is going to be your consolation. This is going to lead to your destruction because uh, uh, being unmild, being ungentle, being focused on uh, anything outside the spirit of Yahweh Shai is, is how you're not going to be found in the spirit of Yahweh Shai. And this is how you're going to be destroyed. Uh, spending time on all that stuff, that's, that's what's leading to your destruction. Putting your energy in, into all that, this is, this is your, that's your own demise. This last scripture I got right here. It's Ecclesiasticus chapter 23 and verse 8. It says, The sinner shall be left in his foolishness. Both the evil speaker and the proud shall fall thereby. You know, an evil speaker is taken by antics and semantics. You know what I'm saying? That's what happens when when an when a evil speaker, a evil what 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 emboldens him in that evil uh, speaking. Is uh antics and semantics, you know what I'm saying? This what uh, leads to him being destroyed, this is what leads to his fall, you know what I'm saying? When them antics and semantics come into the picture, this is what leads to an e a evil speaker's fall. But uh, Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to give our praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shabbat Shem, Rakakodash, peace and blessings to the nation of Israel. Shalom.